There are two reasons you should choose this keyboard over others at this price. So what do you get when you take just the best features of the Oxygen Pro keyboard and make a more affordable version? Well, you get this. This is the brand new M Audio Oxygen line of keyboards, Oxygen Pro, Oxygen. This is the 25 key version of the Oxygen and it costs $129. Here's the 49 key version, which is $179. And there's also a 61 key version for $229. That's pretty affordable and it puts the 25 key version in mini keyboard price territory. But this keyboard has two key benefits over the others. Watch until the end because I'm going to compare it to other popular keyboards so you have all the pros and cons. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I have lots of keyboard reviews, music production tutorials, and a Saturday music year news report series on my channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I always get to the good stuff first to help you make your home production journey smoother. All right, let's get to the first good thing the key bed. There are two reasons you should choose this keyboard over others at this price, and this is the first. I'll get to the second later in the video. The keys are full size. They feel fine and velocity is good too. This is not a premium key bed, but I'm still easily able to be expressive and it feels natural. The keys do feel like cheap plastic compared to the Oxygen Pro. The quality difference is very evident. If you don't like mini keys, this is a great value. Of course, it's not gonna be as portable as a Mini Lab or M32, which have impressive keys as well, even though they're mini. By the way, if you're interested in buying one of the new Oxygen keyboards, I'll put links to the best prices in the video description below. Now, since we're talking about the key bed, given the larger size of this keyboard, I have to say that the 25 key version feels a little limited. Since you're already choosing full-size keys, I highly suggest you get the 49 key version. You're you're going to be much more comfortable not having to raise and lower the octave all the time. The 49 key version only costs $50 more and, and you get faders with it. Nine faders in addition to the eight knobs. I'll talk more about the knobs and faders later. I wanna talk a little bit about the pads and the build quality right now. The pads feel fine. In their default setting, they're not very sensitive. You have to hit them pretty hard to get it loud but you can adjust the velocity easily. There is one thing I miss on other keyboards, and it may sound kind of silly, but I really prefer the lights on the pads on pretty much every other keyboard out there. This kind of just looks like they added a single LED behind each pad, and it makes this keyboard look pretty cheap. The Pro has beautiful colored pads, 16 of them, and even other $100 keyboards have nicer looking pads. But yeah, let's talk about the build quality next. Now keep your expectation in check here, and remember the price. The look is on par with the previous version of the Oxygen series, and I really wish they had updated it, even if just getting rid of the rounded edges, it would have been more modern looking. Now design is subjective, so maybe you'll like it. The rest of the keyboard kind of matches the quality level, the pitch and mod wheels as well. Aside from the plasticky look and feel, everything is pretty tight and sturdy on this keyboard. Other modern mini keyboards just look a whole lot sleeker than this, but hey, many of those keyboards don't cover DAW control the way the Oxygen does. Let's get to the next key benefit of this keyboard over the competitors. Before we do, if you're sharing your music on Instagram or YouTube, you're probably using music visualizers. If you aren't, maybe you should consider VideoBolt, the sponsor of today's video. They've got some great options for creating unique visualizers. The interface is super easy, no need to understand video editing at all. And they're updating their interface to make it even better Look for that soon. Video Bolt offers some cool features, including SoundCloud integration, and you can download the finished video to repost it wherever you like. I'll add links to Video Bolt in the video description. Use the discount code SunjayC to get a discount on the service. So let's talk DAW control. This is the second winning feature of this keyboard. Remember, this is a MIDI controller keyboard, meaning there are no internal sounds, no speakers. Connect this to your computer, play software instruments, and control your DAW. That's how the oxygen keyboards are meant to be used. And the great DAW control of this keyboard works the same on all sizes of this keyboard. I tested it with FL Studio and it worked really well. Play, stop, record, volume control, 
all good. I also tested it with Studio One and it worked really well again. Even Logic worked well using the Mackie Universal setting. It can also control Reason, by the way. Since this keyboard uses the Mackie HUI integration standard, you can use it with pretty much any dock. The more expensive Oxygen Pro is advertised with auto DOM mapping on the Pro screen, but I didn't miss that feature at all. In Ableton Live, you'll be able to control the transport, volume, pan, and devices, but clip triggering isn't available. By the way, I have an early release of the keyboard, so I couldn't actually test device control, but M Audio says it'll be available soon. I should also mention that the Oxygen keyboards are fully compatible with the new MPC Beats software. Oh, by the way, the knobs are not endless. Would have been nice to have those. So let's talk about the performance features, the arpeggiator, chords, and scales. I wanna know if you actually use these built-in features on your keyboard, or do you just use your DAW? Comment below. The performance features are where the Oxygen keyboards have really been updated from the previous version. You cycle through performance features by pressing Shift plus the Mode button. You can set the arpeggiator up, down, random, and it also has settings for gate and swing. Not as granular as the settings on the Oxygen Pro, but good enough for most needs. Let's check out the chord mode next. Select a voicing, a key, and choose either major or minor, and now you've got full chords with single keys. And as you play, they actually record the full chords to your DAW. I actually had fun with the random setting in chord mode. Just keep pressing one key and it keeps generating new chords. This may be useful for some inspiration. Nothing revolutionary here, but if you don't know music theory, there are some cool cheats. Scale mode is useful too if you need help playing melodies in the right scale. No mistakes when you use it. These features are kind of on par with some of the latest modern MIDI controllers out there like the Akai MPK Mini, the Novation Launch Key Mini, and others. So how do the new Oxygen keyboards compare with other keyboards around the same price? Well, around $130 or less, most keyboards with all of these kind of features are mini keyboards. So yeah, if you want full-size keys, the Oxygen 25 is a really great buy. It's just $10 more than the Akai MPK Mini, the Artoria Mini Lab, and $20 more than the Novation Launch Key Mini and the Nectar Impact LX25. By the way, the Nectar LX25 Plus does actually have full-size keys as well, and it's probably the closest in size and performance, but the Oxygen does have more chord and ARP features than the Nectar. Honestly, if you use Ableton Session View, there are some better options for clip triggering like Novation Gear or even the Oxygen Pro model. This keyboard includes Ableton Live Lite, MPC Beats, the Hybrid 3 Synth plugin, and Mini Grand. Now, virtual instrument control is not its strongest feature. You're gonna get better virtual instrument compatibility and integration with Arturia and Native Instruments keyboards. Those keyboards integrate really well with their own software packages. So the Oxygen fits well in the price range that it sits. And if you get the 49 key version, I think it's an excellent value for a full size key keyboard. If you have any questions about the Oxygen keyboards, leave them in the comments below. Keep making the music you love. And if you wanna check out more keyboard reviews on my channel, check out one of these videos next.